Okay, Brad and I got permission to do a concert venue. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. Nice lawn. Everybody gets drunk and dances around. Got a lot of clad, but I see my first good signal. I don't know what it is yet. It's coming up a 13, so like a nickel. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a big old pendant. Jeez, look how awesome that is. Wow, that is pretty cool. So, religious pendant. Neat. Now, the question is, is this a real chain or a fake chain? Well, you know what we can do? I got my spray bottle. First thing, let's try the magnet test. Hey, it's not sticking to the magnet. That's a good sign. So it's not total trash. Tell you what, let me look at it and then I'll get back to you. Well, I'm not seeing a mark, so it's probably stainless, but uh, I will test it. I'll let you know. Still a cool find either way. First good find. See what else these people danced off. All right, I thought I was digging a penny, but I think I got a piece of jewelry. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a bottle cap. <laughs> oh, the way that bottom was bent. <laughs> I like that. And the color. Oh. Bazinga. Well, I didn't really expect to get this. It's got me a little button. Probably not old. But it is fancy. You know, I was like getting a zinc penny signal real deep, and I thought, ah, should I dig that? And I always dig them. I don't even know why I was thinking that. But look, there's like an owl pendant or something. Definitely trash, but cool. Okay, so I was getting kind of a crappy 8 and 9 signal. And so I got some sort of bead. Cool. Let's keep going. Pretty close to it was this little flower. So I think a bracelet or something broke right here. I bet there's more pieces, let's see. Here's another little piece to it I found. There's another piece I didn't show you. But anyways, looks like it's all gonna be bling. You know, I was hoping that at least maybe one of the parts would be silver or something. Yep, there's one more piece. So we're digging tons of clad. And of course this is mostly a jewelry hunt. That's what we're hoping for, a gold ring or something. The cool thing is, because this is like a brewery, there's really no pull taps out here. So we have a real good shot. I mean, if there's a gold ring, we'll probably find it because there's not a lot of mid-tones. So I don't know, cross your fingers. Some Brad's more? got some jewelry. Another broken bracelet or necklace or something. Different than yours? Yeah. And mine was a long ways from here, so. <laughs> well, doesn't mean it's not slowly falling apart. <laughs> so you got some sort of button. You know, the back's all toasty. That's interesting. Kind of looks newer. But also a two-piece, so can't be that new. Weird. Look, I got a little heart. That's coming up a seven. All right, jewelry's here. Let's get some good stuff. <laughs> Homemade earring, I guess. Sounded like a big penny. Crazy. Wow, pretty green, like it's been there a while. Yep. Nice. On the board with jewelry, finally. So Brad and I, <clears throat> we jumped to the river bottoms. Decided to go for some old stuff for a little bit. 
we just kind of worked that concert place so we got some jewelry and a bunch of clad i didn't show you the clad but a lot of clad i do not know what this is it looks like a rock it's really heavy like lead or something it's ringing like a zinc penny i am so confused is it a rock is it metal i do not know So this is pretty cool. I just spooked up. I thought it was going to be a grouse, but it was a duck. Look, a whole nest of eggs. What do we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eggs. I ain't going to touch them. Let's keep going. Look at that. Brad found a pretty cool old license plate. I found that 55 in here before, and it was normal size. This one looks like a motorcycle or tractor or something I have no idea 61 it's like Brad got him an old buckle awesome I don't know how old it is but you know it's weird that one looks like it's exactly for a belt <clears throat> yeah about that size yeah kind of dainty though maybe it's for women I guess people were smaller back then too yeah Alright, I have what sounds like really deep silver. So, we're going to do a live dig. I already put my, started my plug and then I thought, well, ah, live dig. Nice shadow out of there. Got some sort of tone. It's deep. Nope, just a big old... Wait, what is that? You know what it is? Someone stuffed a shell inside a shell. Two shells. Two for the price of one. <laughs> Alright, Relic guys, what's this? Looks like it's got a hole all the way through. Is that like a little pipe? Is it a whistle? What is that? I think Brad figured it out. He thinks it's a little cannon. See how there's like this piece and that piece and then probably sat on like the wheels. That's like a little toy cannon. Tell me that's not a cool relic. Boom. All right, I was getting a high tone. I dug way down there. Look how deep that is. Boom. And I got myself a harmonica reed. Sounds like there's still something in there. Maybe it's the rest of it. Looks like I got the other piece of it. In fact, I might even have broke it. Darn it. Cool though. Starting to get into some relics. Look at that. Kid got a horseshoe. Awesome. Well, yeah, maybe we'll get something really cool out of here. Definitely been some uh, people living around here or camping. Awesome. Got yeah. Some sort of insignia on there. Yeah, it's pretty light. As I said, it almost looks silver. It's awesome. Actually, let me see that. Oh. So that insignia looks like a beehive. So that might be some Mormon stuff. Brad's got something. Jeez. That uh, metal looks old though. It's to gap really old spark plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you own it. It's heavy too. I might not own it for too long. I wonder if it was like, you know, like a wagon part. Oh, we got a piece of metal. Thanks for the metal, Katie. <laughs> or Caddy or Caddy. <laughs> well, there's an interesting part. That was ringing up. 35, 36 on the Equinox, real high. Look at that thing. What is it, guys? Switch metal detectors. 
mine uh, died again. Back to the 600. Brad's got some fancy lid here that's got a cutout on top. I don't know why. It's obviously cut. It's not broken out of there. Amazing. What it is, I don't know. And this giant spike. That's a big spike. I wonder if that's like an old logging spike or something. Maybe a vampire killing spike. So that's a some sort of lid and it looks like someone shot a hole through it. Not sure, but I think that might be a little garter clip Brad just found. Yeah, something like that. For sure. Hmm. We got at least part of a license plate here. It says Montana 23. Wonder what that means. So this looks like it used to be used for filtering coffee or tea. I think that's out of an old percolator. And Brad's got an old saw blade. Man, we are in the junk pile of junk piles. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find anything good, but we're certainly finding interesting stuff. Keeping us busy. Look at this weird piece of brass. It says Model C on it. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like it had a little latch of some kind. It's a shriveled up raisin. <laughs> yeah. Just got himself a real nice uh, ball lid. Look at that. Good shape. Well, maybe there are a few treasures in this dump. <laughs> well, I finally got a coin. It's kind of old. 1953 Canadian penny. Boom. Some sort of gear. I think there's something else in this hole too. I mean, I guess that's some sort of bucket, buckle. Buckle? That's it? <laughs> Can't even talk anymore. <laughs> Bobby. All right, I think I got something amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Kid got a gun. Part of an old Derringer? Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's an actual gun, not a cap gun. I think that's a real gun. Boom. All right, so we did a concert venue and the old trick bottom all on the same day. So here's Brad's stuff. You got this earring, bunch of clad. That was all concert stuff. You got this hinge thing, who knows, off a wagon or some sort of farm equipment. Do you think that's a piece of a lock? Like what that would be where the keyhole is? I don't know. Doesn't look like that any place for a shackle to come down through. Unless that'd be on the other piece. Yeah, I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Half of this is you guys need to tell us <laughs> <laughs> what we have, because we don't know. Yeah, he's got a bunch of little stuff here. He's got a nice license plate. Got the nice piece of porcelain and his lid. I do think that that's like an old Utah because of the beehive cosmetic case lid. And then on this Katie thing, I don't even think you can flip it over for you guys. But look, it's got teeth on the back. So, some sort of a clasp for suspenders or something. Did get some broken glass. He's saving that for his buddy. I got this little cool one. He's gonna take that one. I don't really keep chunks of glass. All right, now for my stuff. So concert venue. That's the clad I got. Bunch of little pieces of jewelry. Some random buttons. Nothing too amazing. This one I don't know how old it is though. That one's interesting. That might be a little older. This is probably the hero of the day at the concert venue, but unfortunately, I think that's all going to be stainless. Still cool, though. <clears throat> now, for the crick bottom. I just got lots of weird little things. I just don't really know what they are. I wish I was better at these relics, but I'm just not. So, tell me what they are. Buckle. Yeah, I did... Uh, clean it out that hole goes all the way through i'm pretty sure that is a toy cannon right there so that's awesome of course the old license plate don't know what the 23 really stands for in our state sometimes we have numbers for the uh, counties like 
13 or whatever. And we're pretty sure that's a real gun. Not complete, but still awesome. That's my first gun. Found a lot of cap guns. But this thing's a mystery. This thing is so heavy. I wish you could feel how heavy that is. I'm wondering if that's like maybe a little trade weight that they were using to, you know, on scales for measuring stuff. Like, I wonder if that's one ounce. Maybe that's what I need to do, put it on a scale and see if that comes out to one ounce. But, anyways, pretty fun little hunt. So if you like the content, give us a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe so you can see more of it. Thanks, guys.